Obviously, we've done our consultation, we've done our shampoo ritual, it's time to get to the technical service. Okay. This is probably the first time in the whole service I'll actually add the cape, okay, or the gown. And the reason being is because I still want to kind of see who he is, I don't want to make him feel claustrophobic. And this is also saying to the client, it's time to start the service. So it's kind of initiating the beginning of the service. And now we know we're gonna be getting into some hair cutting as well as we don't wanna get hair on people. We wanna treat them with respect. And we're gonna spin them around. We're gonna make sure that they're comfortable. If you wanna make sure, maybe ask them if they need a glass of water. But for the most part, we're getting ready to cut some hair. We have a beautiful canvas here today. All right, and what we discussed in our consultation is we're gonna take some length away from the back here, but we're quite happy with the length on top. Some will need to come down because we'll need some connection, okay? But for the most part, we're gonna be doing a little bit of a restyle today. Something a little tighter to the back. We'll be utilizing some graduation. We'll also be doing some layering. As for shapes, I'm gonna touch on those when we get to them, okay? But for the most part, we're gonna see a really nice transformation here. Okay, so let's get started. Okay guys, so we're gonna start our service off. The things we're gonna need for this service are gonna be our scissors some cutting clips, and my comb. I'm definitely gonna be using my blow dryer as well as my styling brushes, all right? And then we're very lucky from the people at L'Oreal, we'll be using some styling products as well, okay? Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our blueprint in now or we're gonna do what we call haircut mapping, okay? So we're just gonna map out our haircut so we work in zones, panels, or quadrants, which will make your life a lot easier, okay? So, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do, and keep this pretty basic, okay? Because we're doing Barber Begins, we don't wanna get too ahead of ourselves, all right? I wanna make sure that everyone understands what we're doing, okay? So we're just gonna be putting in what we call a universal horseshoe, okay? So as you can see, all right, I'm looking for where the round of the head is, okay? So if I put this around the apex, I can see that it's in around this area, okay? I can almost separate it from myself, okay? But again, I'm gonna use my comb, because that's what it's there for, all right? And I'm just gonna start my nice clean section, okay? Combing that hair out of the way, right? The only thing that I'm gonna do differently is because I'm the way the hair grows, I'm gonna section it out to the growth pattern, all right? That way no hair is being pushed into a direction that doesn't wanna be. So if I just spin Simon around here, okay, you can see I'm gonna make sure that it's maybe not a perfect horseshoe, it might be a little bit more um, uh, it might be adjusted just to the growth pattern of the crown uh, or the top of the apex there, okay? As you can see. And then I'm just gonna bring this all the way around to the front. Nice clean section. Okay, and I'm gonna spin Simon towards me right now. Okay, and I'm just gonna comb this all forward, okay? Nice and clean, okay? I don't want hair in his face. He's gotta sit here for 45 minutes to an hour. Okay, we wanna make sure that he's comfortable while getting his hair cut, and I would do this for any client, okay? Okay, nice clean section. As you can see, I'm gonna take my time twisting, getting that hair out of the way. Okay, nice and clean. Boom, clip that off, all right? Look at that, fantastic, looking great, okay? Now, We've got a lot of hair to work with here still, so I'm still gonna do a couple other sections, all right? And the reason being, okay, is because again, I feel like this is quite a lot of hair to work with, okay? So I'm just gonna take a section just behind the ear there, a little bit more on the diagonal, okay? I'm gonna twist this off as well to work really clean. Okay, and what I do on one side, I'm gonna match to the other side as well, just from the apex here, just to behind the ear. Yep. Just to match the other side, just to clip that hair off. Beautiful, okay. Now, you might be asking to yourself, what technique should we use here? Should we use a layering technique? Should we use a graduation technique? Okay, because the reality is, you know, we wanna make sure that we're giving this person the best haircut of their life. Uh, but in saying that as well, we need to know what the right technique is to use. Now, during our consultation, what we had talked about is removing a lot of this bulk in the back. 
okay? The length on the top and the length on the sides was not so bothersome, okay? Because we might need to leave a little bit of length to do a tuck, and at the same time, we might need a little bit of length to make sure that this comes all the way back. But we want to make sure that it's kind of connected and doing something a little bit more classic, okay? But the major feature uh, that we were unhappy with was this excess length in the back, okay? So what we're gonna be working with is we're probably gonna be working with some layering in the back and some graduation on the sides, okay? So like we worked on uh, in module number three, we're gonna be working with a little bit of a square layer, okay? So I'm gonna take my profile guide. And this is so much better than working with a mannequin. You'll see once you start working with real people, it's 10 times easier to section. Okay. So we've sectioned out our client or our guest and we're ready to start our technical service. Obviously you can see this is my sectioning pattern. Okay, I'm gonna be working with a lot of different techniques. Okay, I'm gonna be working with the one length technique. I'm also gonna be working with some graduation as well as some layering, okay? And the reason being is because we wanna retain some length, but we also wanna reduce some of the weight. We also wanna reduce some length in the same, in the same uh, uh, certain areas as well, okay? So what I'm gonna be doing, as you can see, I've gone to center back, center back uh, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting in our guideline because we want to remove some length in the back here, okay? So number one, I'm going to adjust the client the way I want him, and I'm going to take my first section, a little, little wider. Okay, I'm just using clips here so you guys can just see right now, all right? Like I said, sometimes people wouldn't use clips if the hair is wet enough. It's easier to manipulate, but I just want you guys to see as I put my baseline in here, okay? All right, here we go. Now, if I tilt his head down too far, it might create graduation, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pump up my chair Okay, I'm gonna pump my chair up here. Okay, and this is where I'm gonna start, all right? Now, if I notice that the hair is too dry, which it might be, I'm just gonna spritz it down, okay? Just gonna adjust his head. Okay, and I'm gonna place in my one length, okay? Now, this is getting a little bit more technical because we're gonna be doing a one length with no tension, okay? All right, and I'm just going to adjust that Okay, and I'm gonna use my mirror just to see how my baseline is sitting, okay? Okay, and I'm gonna use that as my guideline for the rest of my haircut, okay? Okay, working nice and clean. Once again, all we're doing is removing this length in the back. Okay, now I've placed in a pretty strong perimeter line, but I am gonna break that up, 
okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back in now and we're gonna start our layering. Okay, if I notice that the hair is starting to dry, we always gotta be using our water. So instead of starting my layering at the top, I'm going to use my one length where the shortest piece is and start my layer. Okay, so what I do on one side, I'm going to work to the other side as well, okay? And everything's getting over-directed to the previous. Okay, now that my guideline is in there, I can comb towards me. Everything's coming square. Beautiful. Okay, everything coming to the previous, all right? And what I mean by that, again, once again, is my guideline is in here, everything's coming to the previous section that it was at, okay? Okay, again, I'm not coming off the head shape, okay? Everything's coming straight back. And you'll notice it's just so much easier and so much more fun working with real hair versus a mannequin. Okay, next section. I've already cut that, moving that out of the way. Working square. There's that guide. Beautiful. And then I'm just gonna pick up that last section. I'm gonna bring that all straight back, cutting that square again. Okay. All right, now what we're gonna do, is like we talked about when we did our square layering, we're just gonna go through we're just gonna cross check. Make sure that we're nice and square. Beautiful, any imperfections, I'm just gonna touch on. Beautiful. Okay, and as you guys can see, we've added some of that movement, but we've brought up the length there as well, okay? So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna work to the opposite side now, all right? So, we've cut this side of the head, we're gonna work over to the other side now, okay? Okay, combing away from myself, looking for that square layer. Boom, right in there. One, two, three. I'm just gonna work my way down now.
beautiful. Okay, take my next section. Over directing backwards. Sometimes if you lose your guide, you just have to go back to your cross check, okay? That's common, it does happen. There it is right there. Just cleaning that up. Straight back, square layer, beautiful. Okay, next section. Everything coming to the previous. Anything I've cut, I'm moving out of the way. Moving on to my next section. Yeah. Just changing my finger position here now, just because it's easier for me to over direct. Looking for that square layer. section. For that guide. And then just bring all that hair all the way back. Okay, once again, just checking my balance, making sure everything's sitting correctly, okay? And then if I really need to as well, I'll go through and I'll just do my cross checking, okay? Everything should be coming out straight, beautiful, looking great. A couple tiny imperfections, but that's to be said. Awesome, great job. Okay, as you can see, there's quite a bit of movement in there, okay? It's still a bit heavy in throughout the perimeter, but I'm gonna soften that up when we get near to the end of the haircut because I still want that cool tuck, okay? Perfect, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna work side to side now, all right? Now, very similar to what we did in our square layer haircut previously uh, in our module three, we're just gonna take a little bit from the back here and connect it into the sides, okay? Okay, so it should look like something like this. Okay, so this is our new profile guide. We're gonna take our section from here, just behind the ear, comb that out of the way. Okay, and that's our new section, okay? If we need water, we can add some water. Make sure that's nice and saturated. As you can see, spin the chair. I'm just gonna comb this straight out.
There's that short hair there. Adding that square layer. Square straight off the head. Okay, it's not too much coming off. All right, so that's now our guide working all the way to the front, okay? But everything's coming to the previous, so I'm just gonna split the difference there, comb that out of the way, okay? Next section. Just gonna adjust Simon's head. Gonna adjust Simon's head. Sorry. It's okay. All right. Looking for that guide. There it is. Beautiful. Okay. Once again, splitting the difference. Okay. Adding to my next section. So I'm always taking from my old section and adding to my new section. Okay, again, straight off of the head, looking for that guide. One, two, three. Okay, splitting the difference once again, adding to my new section. One, two, three. And then my last section here. Okay, taking out that weight, but there's still enough length and it's connected into the back. Okay, it's gonna sit really nice with a nice blow dry. Okay, perfect. So what we do on one side, once again, we have to do on the other. Okay, it's very rare in haircutting. All right, at this point in, in, in my career where we do anything that's too asymmetrical, okay? All right, so what I'm gonna do once again, if you remember, we're gonna take our guide from the back and that's where we're gonna add it to the side, okay? So let's just spray it down with some water. Okay, so here was our last section in the back. Okay, we already know that we've cut all this, so let's move it out of the way. All right, changing my position, standing behind Simon now and just bringing it straight up off the head, looking for that shortest piece. There it is right there, one, two, three. Okay, working all the way down. It's not too much coming off as I get further down because I brought up that perimeter. Okay, and then just working all the way to the front, everything to the previous. Okay, separating, adding. Okay. As you can see, I'm looking in the mirror. My body is not too contorted. All right, square off the head shape. Okay, taking from the old section, adding to the new section. As you guys can see, you're probably starting to feel like things are repetitive. That's a good thing, okay? It should be repetitive, all right? It's what we want it to be. We're getting into the motions of now cutting the hair, okay? Last section, over directing. Beautiful. Okay, spinning Simon around, looking nice, looking sharp. Okay, not lots of movement in there, all right? Same time, we've taken the weight out. It's gonna sit a little bit more snug to his head than it was previously, okay? Now, beautiful. We've cut the sides, we've cut the back, we're moving on to the top, all right? Now, what sort of shape should we use on the top? All right, this is another question we get in haircutting all the time, okay? Well, the reality is, is I know that Simon liked the length in the front, okay? So to me, I already think short to long, something triangular. It would probably be a smarter shape to use because if I use something round, it's probably gonna take too much off the front and something square I feel like will be too stronger of a shape. I want something a little softer and I think short to long is the way to go, okay? So we'll be using something triangular on top, okay? Once again, 
Moisture control is extremely important. You can see the length on Simon's hair right now. If we were to dry it, there would be just way too much disconnection. Okay, and what we are gonna do is we're gonna connect this haircut in. But this is what I was saying previously. We've used a square layer in the back and on the sides and also the one length technique in the back. Okay, we're actually gonna be using the same, we're gonna be using the layering technique but we're gonna change our shape now, okay? So once again, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna groom all this hair back. And you can see there's quite a bit of overhang, okay? So the reality is that's why it's important. We're gonna put in that triangular shape or that new shape, okay? So we're gonna go center profile all the way to the back. Okay, and if you want, you can clip that off for good measure. Nice clean sections. Again, you can clip it off for good measure. All right, what we're gonna be working with, as you can see, there's all this excess length. And probably from the last haircut, you can see it was already cut short to long. Okay, but what we are gonna do is we're gonna use that square layer in the back to connect our haircut, okay? This is my shortest point, okay? This was from my square layer, okay? That's gonna dictate my new guide, okay? All I'm gonna do is adjust my finger position, okay? I'm more pointed towards the floor now, opposed to completely straight, okay? If I go completely straight, I feel like I'm gonna take too much length. So we're gonna be taking our guide from the back, from our square layer, okay? So all I have to do is take from the back and find that shortest point, okay? So I could bring it up and cut it completely square, but I feel like I'd be removing almost too much length, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to angle my fingers towards the floor, okay? And I'm gonna work with more of a triangular shape, okay? Now this is more of a aggressive triangular shape because I want to retain quite a bit of length in the front, okay? and taking that last little bit off. Beautiful. So now we have this short to long aspect, okay? So we're definitely using a triangular shape on top. So let's work side to side, okay? Okay, I know my guide is in there, okay? And I'm gonna work everything to the previous as well. Okay, it's a lot of hair to work with, so sometimes it's better to break it up. Okay, fingers are coming up to the ground. You can see that guide in there now. So you can remember, if anybody ever says to you they wanna keep it longer in the front, it's likely you're gonna be working with a triangular shape. Okay, I'm gonna split the difference. Working over section by section. Grooming the hair back, and I'm never taking massive clumpy sections, okay? I'm always working fairly clean, okay? It's a lot of hair, you can get difficult at times, but you have to do your best to work the cleanest you can, okay? As I move further on my horizontal axis, as I get over, I'm noticing that less length is coming off because the hair has farther to travel, okay? So 
Go to the next section, bring it up again, triangular, looking for that guide, there it is right there. If I don't see my guide, I don't cut. Nice and clean, removing that, moving on to my next section. Beautiful, nice and triangular. Okay, and I believe that'll be the last section for that side. Okay, now, again, you're gonna hear me repeating myself a lot. What I do on one side, I will be doing on the other. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the center parting, okay? Okay, and I'm gonna be working on the same side. It would be very difficult for me to cut triangular going this way, okay? So I still have to maintain my finger position. As you can see, my fingers are not pointing to my mirror. My fingers always have to be in the same position pointing to the ground, okay? So we have to maintain that triangular shape, and the only way I'm gonna achieve that is by being in the original position, okay? There's that triangular guide. Okay, once again, standing on the same side, I'm just changing the angle up for you. Nice and clean, fingers to the floor, boom. Okay, and as I said, on the other side, as I get closer to the side panels, there's less hair coming off. Beautiful. Okay, so the next step, we do have some disconnection in the haircut, all right? Obviously, we've used this triangular shape on top, but it's disconnected still to the sides. So there's still a little bit of excess length. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work in a horizontal section, okay, all the way up to the apex and just making sure there's no excess length. And as you can see that there is. So perfect, I'm actually pretty happy with my structure in there, okay? Like I said, I use the layering technique, I use my one length technique, okay? But I'm actually quite happy with how the hair is sitting. I'm gonna go into some more fine detailing, okay? So I'm gonna go on, I'm gonna apply some Bouncy Tender, okay, from L'Oreal. It's a gel and a cream. It's not too heavy, like I'd said before. It's just enough to give a little bit of hold in there and stop the hair from going frizzy. Uh, and then I'm gonna go in and personalize, okay? We call it personalizing, not texturizing. And the reason being is because sometimes people get scared by the word texturizing. Might mean that we go in and we're gonna shatter our shape, which we're not gonna do. We've put in a nice foundation, okay? We're happy with the length. We're happy with the weight and the weight distribution, okay? So we're just gonna go in there and we're gonna give a nice blow dry, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna go in, we're gonna do a blow dry now, okay? Uh, I'm gonna go in with medium, uh, medium heat, high speed, okay? And we're just gonna start to shake a little bit of that water out, okay? Before we go in with our styling brush, okay? If the hair is too wet and you start going in with your brush right away, you're just being counterproductive, okay? We need to get a little bit of that moisture out before we go in and we start to finesse. Okay, and then I'm just gonna tilt Simon's head and I'm gonna start to do my blow dry. 
Okay, I'm just gonna start to finesse that dry now. Okay, traditionally where we start cutting, okay, is where we start blow drying, all right? But I started in the back today, I was just getting the sides done first, okay? But now I'm moving to the back, all right? Now when I'm styling, I'm actually placing the hair where I want it to be, okay? That's why it's called hair styling or hair dressing, okay? It's not necessarily about just blow drying the hair. We have to dress the hair. We have to style it in the place that we want it to be, okay? Just working side to side. Perfect, so we're finished our haircut. The structure's in there, I'm extremely happy with it. Okay, just to reiterate, we use square on the sides, square in the back, and then a triangular shape on the front. There is a tiny bit of disconnection from the sides to the top, but I'm okay with that because I want it to look natural, okay? So when I'm cutting mid to long hair or mid, mid to short hair, I try to make it look like it hasn't been cut because when we're usually working in, in women's hair, we usually lose perimeters and a little bit more blunt cutting lines. Okay, with this, I wanted to break it up a little bit more, have something a little bit softer, uh, okay, and less aggressive, okay? So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal Bouncy Tender right now. This is a cream as well as a gel, and I'm just gonna work this through, and we're gonna do a diffuse, okay? The reason we're gonna diffuse is because Simon has wavy, uh, wavy hair. All right, if he had really straight hair, maybe we do more of a, a, a slick back blowout, okay? But I feel like if we diffuse this, it's gonna bring out the texture, the shape's gonna look fantastic, and it's gonna suit more of his aesthetic. Okay, so I've applied the product. I'm just emulsifying it in my hands, okay? And then I'm just working it through. And what I'm doing is more of a scrunching motion, 
okay? And the reason I'm scrunching it more, okay, is because I really, really want that, nat that natural texture to come out and not so much um, that, 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 that refined feel, okay? Because I, I want it to be messy, and again, I want it to look as though it hasn't really been adjusted, okay? So what we're trying to work with is like more of like a motorcycle look or kind of skater hair. And the reality is, you know, I look at hair like this. There's a difference between a good haircut and a great haircut. A good haircut looks good when it leaves. A great haircut looks good when it comes back. Okay, so for me, I want to make sure that there's longevity in there. Okay, and I'm just placing the hair for my diffuse. Okay, and I'm just going to wipe my hands on a towel. Okay, I've got my blow dryer. What I'm actually going to do all right, as I'm actually gonna grab my wide tooth styling comb, all right, and the reason being is I don't wanna be touching it with my hands. The more I touch it, the frizzier it's gonna get, okay? And the big thing in our consultation was he felt that the hair was too bulky in areas, okay? So we don't want it to expand, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lightly style it with my comb, all right, and I'm gonna use my diffuser, okay? All right, so once again, we're gonna be using high heat with low speed, okay? And I'm just gonna slowly start to manipulate that hair where I want it to be. Now generally where I start cutting is where I'm going to start blow drying and the reason being it's usually the driest area. So because I started cutting in the back, that's where I'm going to focus my primary dry on, okay? Now when diffusing, we do not want to place the diffuser directly on the head. If you're, if you're diffusing directly on the head, you might burn your client, okay? So what I like to do is I like to turn it on, hold it for two or three Mississippis at each section, and then move it. Okay, but I'm not on the base, I'm away from the base.
Now lastly, what I might do is I might tilt and get the client to rest his head back. I'm just gonna raise this up, I'll do this again. Sorry, I'm just gonna raise this for you, Simon. Okay, lastly, what I might do is I'll get the client to rest his head back, okay? Just so we can get gravity involved. Okay guys, so obviously I've gone through and I've diffused, all right, and as you can see, if the haircut has been cut correctly, all right, styling should be very easy. It should be very, very natural, all right? I haven't gone in and done too much uh, besides blow dried and add a little bit of hairspray, okay? Now when you're working with hair like this, have some fun, move it around, okay? And if you see imperfections, that's okay. We want it to be a softer haircut. So what I really do is I go around and I play with it, all right, to make sure that it's looking nice and soft, okay? Because that's the kind of style that I was looking for. Okay, perfect, so I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Once again, just to recap, we worked with a square shape throughout the sides, we worked with a square shape in the back, we started with our one length perimeter, and we just added something triangular on top, okay? We really wanted to maintain that length on top, but wanted to reduce the weight on the sides and then throughout the back, and we just went in and we created a really nice, soft, textured look. So I'm just gonna spin Simon around so you can see the back. Really soft, super nice, okay? Spin around to the other side as well. Okay, this is kind of like I said, motorcycle hair. Hair that looks like it hasn't been cut, okay? Because a lot of guys who come in, they don't really wanna look as though they've been to the barber or the salon, okay? So like I said, have some fun, pick it apart, take some photos, enjoy what you do, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and we'll catch you guys next time, all right?